morning folks welcome back to another homestead film so today let's have a look right we're going to show you we're going to have a bit of a wander around i'm going to show you what we've been up to what we've been on with dawn's doing a bit of pruning there the rose bush has gone mad so here we go this was this was this was this was one job i needed to get sorted because We've obviously you've seen the paths we've got the paths in and the paths are going to lead us up to the hide so if we look back there we had to go over this ditch now it's not the biggest ditch in the world but it would have been difficult to negotiate so i thought we'd we'd get this this little bridge built i've used the i've used the ash um that's got the die back so we, we cut some of that up what i'll do now i was going to do a separate film for the for building the bridge but i'm going to lump it all together we're going to have a wander around show you the different projects so what we'll do now i'll put all the footage on from when i built the bridge doing folks right we are gonna have a do at making a bridge so we saw the path last time yeah not cut it out yet but this is where it's going so it's going over this little ditch and then onto that new path that's going up to the hide so what I've done I've strimmed it all got it all strimmed so i can see what i'm doing and we're going to make it out of some rustic ash logs so up in the wood you've seen it on the other films we've got ash dieback which is a bit of a bummer but there's nothing we can do about it so i've been taking quite a few of them down and there's some that are absolute perfect size for making a bridge out of so we should have enough or we should have plenty to be honest so we'll go up now i've already cut them down i'm going to tie the four posts onto the trolley bring them down i'm going to strip all the bark off dig some holes and get them in <laughs> i've not made a bridge before so First time for everything, see how it comes out. That's all four posts paired down, all the bark's off. This one was a lot easier for some reason, I don't know why, but yeah. Right, that's done. So we've knocked a frame up. We'll go up and have a look at the frame and then that will give us our position for the four holes that we're going to dig. We're going to get some preservative on these because they're going in for about 18 inches. I'd like to say I've got some really detailed drawings for this bridge, but I haven't. They're up here. So we're, uh, we're winging it. We're making it up as we go along. So once these are treated, we'll get them in, get them concreted in. We're going to take a slot out of there, 
we're going to uh, put the the actual frame for the uh, for the actual bridge into there and then bolt it through and it should be should be nice and bonny and then we're going to make a nice handrail and a couple of uh, yeah you'll see as we make it all right let's go and have a look over here Right, move out roof, come on. Right, so there we go. That's the frame. It's not the biggest bridge in the world. Not exactly the Clifton suspension bridge, is it? But it'll make life a lot easier traveling across here. So these are gonna go in, say 18 inches. They're probably gonna to have to be cut off, but that's fine. Once these are got preservative on the bottom, and we've concreted them in. We're gonna dig these holes out, get them concreted in. And uh, yeah, we'll be on our way. Right, next step. Morning folks, day two of the bridge build. So I'm just going to mark these corners where the, the posts are going to go. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, I'm not happy with that because there's a big rock under there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dig four holes. Then we're going to notch the side of the post out. It's, it's going to be a bit tricky this, to be honest, because I've, I need to dig the holes, notch the post, fasten the post to the side of this, this frame, and then drop it all in, and then get my levels right. Otherwise, if I notch it when they're, they're concreted in, I might disturb the post, and also it'd be, it'd be difficult getting it in. So that's the way we're going to do it. Right, time to dig. Weapon of choice today, my little graft. Let's see what we hit. <laughs> Cracking.
straight away we have an issue. Right, so the, it's pretty level to be honest, it's not a million miles out, just needs a little bit of adjustment. What I'm going to do, I'll get the sand and stone that I'm going to use for the concrete, drop some into each hole, bang it down, get my levels right, get a bit of stuff underneath the bottom of the post, and then when, we're, when I'm happy with it, we'll get some concrete in, and then we're going to let it, well, we'll let it go off, and then we'll, we'll attack the handrails.
Hey folks, right we're back on the bridge today. So we've been away for a few days. Let's go and have a look. Sorry about the noise, the mower's going. The never ending battle that is the grass. Right, let's have a look. So, that's where we left it. We managed to get, get that much done. And we just put that in as a bit, we put it in as a dry mix and we just put a bit of water on it and it is absolutely rock solid. That is superb. So all we're going to do today, well, all we're going to do, we're going to get these, uh, get the boards cut. I've got some recycled decking boards. So we're going to get them cut, three foot lengths. I'm going to profile them around the corners there, the, these bottom bits, there's a bit of a radius just there. So we're going to profile them round, um, probably bring it over an inch, over two inches at either side. We'll get that done and then I'm going to decide whether to put any, any diagonals in. I might just put one diagonal in, I don't want to make it look too clumpy really. So we've got the, the boards down there, let's get cutting. So we're just going to overlap it by an inch and we have to profile it into there. So, let's have a look. allows me some errors. There, what are we have in that. That'll do. Like I said before, we're not making aeroplanes, are we? So there we go, that's the bridge, in, in and done. Right, let's have a wander up here. So I'll tell you what, what I have made a, an error with. So we've got these paths in. Now what I did, I had a lot of grab bags that were, that were spur. And you saw it on the last film, I cut it out and I used it as a weed block. Then put the, the bark chippings on top and there's no weeds come through at all. I rushed this one a bit and there's quite a few quite a few weeds coming through so I don't know why I'm going up here we need to be going down here to be honest let's have a look down down the bottom end I'll head up there in a minute so over the ditch what we have been doing this side of the garden this is going to be our veg beds so I've been anyone that's into growing their own stuff Charles Dowding he's a legend so he's kind of pioneered the no dig method of, uh, of growing vegetables. So this bottom bit, this is going to be the veg garden. We're going to have a, either a polytunnel or a greenhouse, but we've just started putting the, the borders in, the, uh, the veg beds. So that's ongoing. Down here, because a no dig 
method of growing relies on a lot of compost and we had the ability to make a lot of compost here so I'll put these compost beds in Another peaceful day at the Glen Mm -hmm. So four bay compost, that'll get us going. We're gonna to have to put some extra ones in to make some more, but already got the old thermometer on there. You can see, so reacting nicely. So we've got compost that's, It'll be a few months down the line, maybe six months, you know, so this year is a bit of a write-off. Little polytunnel. Got some tomatoes growing, so we'll have some Tommies this year. So that's good. Right, so that's this, the bottom end sorted. Let's have a wander up this path and we're going to show you what we've been doing with the hide. Well, we've started it, we've started the project. Now what I'm going to do I'll show you where the hide's going and the, the puttings that we put in, but I think the hide build deserves a little film of its own, a little series of its own, if you will. So I'm documenting all that as I build it, documenting it. So you can see the issue I've got with the weeds, but it's no, no big deal, to be honest. Right, over the bridge and up into the meadow so we've cleared all this path up here got it all strimmed i need to get some weed block down here and then get some more more bark chippings down the feeding station oh hear that and Jay just took off so that's where I've had the mornal just to just to sit in there and see what we're coming down onto the feeding station they're absolutely going mad with the seed at the moment they're emptying it emptying these big feeders every couple of days so there's a lot of birds coming down this is where the the permanent hides going so you can see here how the slope of the ground is so we've got that post there and then literally we're at ground level over there so it's going to be slightly elevated it's going to be enough for three people in there and we're going to have low down shooting windows so you can lie down i'm going to make a bed in there that folds up against the wall so if i'm photographing the buzzards i'll be able to go in the night before get my head down be a nice little comfy comfy place to to stay the night um, so yeah we're, we're actually on with that now I've got the base made what I'm having to do I'm having to build it all down there near the house because the base is 3 by 3 is it 4 by 4 no I think the 4 by 4 is actually but it's solid oak so it weighs a ton so I'm having to make it all down there build it all I'll take it all to bits then oik it up here into the meadow and then we'll we'll get it in situ I'm gonna have to make a little little staircase going up because it's uh, you know it's a bit of a height so some steps but 
Yeah, it's coming on nicely. This feeding station's working really well at the moment. I've been keeping this area mowed in front. The rest of the meadow, I'm just letting it go and do what it wants, to be honest. We've got this area up here. So this is where we've got the, we've got a big post here. I've seen quite a few pellets down on the floor. So we've had, we've had the owls coming in and that big perch there. We, had the, we get the buzzards on there every day now, so that's fantastic. You can see here some remnants of bits of road killing that, so that's sweet. Working nicely, so all coming too. Right, we'll have a wander down out of the meadow. I've got the little, I don't know if you can see it in the corner. I've got the V7 in the corner there, that's working nicely. The new Tragopan V7. With the adjustable legs on the back which is perfect around here because it's sloping everywhere so down through the meadow you can see all the all the wildflowers thistles we're going to leave all that just let it do what it uh, what it wants to do we should get loads of butterflies and insects and yeah we've got we've got orchids yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing habitat. Right, let's have a wander up at up the top of the uh, top of the drive. So, as I was saying before. We're not building the hide up there because it, it's just too much lugging and stuff. So we've got this little area at the front of the house. I've got the frame built, I say four before oak, and I've got it all level. So that at the moment is nice and level. Next job, we're going to crack on with that this afternoon. We're going to start cutting the boards, get the boards fixed on just temporarily. And then we're going to start making the side frames. Exciting. There's our wood pile we've got to go at. I'm hoping not to have to buy any wood. That will be a crime. There's there's rafts of wood, we'll we'll be right. The stuff go it's going mad at the moment, the hedges are full. So once once the birds have stopped nesting, farmer will come down with the tractor get all these edges nicely trimmed nearly there just wondering what these are a plum of some some description they're not damsons they're too big for damsons we think <clears throat> we think these are damsons the next tree along smaller leaf and a little bit of a, a smaller fruit so It'd be nice if that were Victoria plums. There's loads of, look at that. Thick with them. That would be good. <coughs> right, so, top of the lane. This area, I've just left it. Loads of bracken in there, and it's amazing what's coming up. Look at all these. With orchids, with teasels, with all sorts of stuff. They're the, they're the trees that we planted. Our burr root stock trees, they're doing brilliant, really coming on strong. So, top of the top of the lane. Now, if you recall, this area here, the fence ran from here. And it ran straight across there and we had that massive load of timber that I've chopped up. That's all down at log store now, ready for winter. And what I wanted to do was put an area in where potentially, you know, I can park in winter if it's if it's snowing and what have you. But also, you know, any mates come down, camper vans, motorhome, etc. They can park here. So 
there's enough parking for a couple of cars and you know a camper whatever so what I'll do now again I was going to do this as a separate film but I'm going to lump it in on this one I'll show you a bit of footage from when we were building this see you in a bit So there you go, bit of graft. We put a lot of stuff in. Our mate, the farmer, he come down, he put, I think he put eight ton in and we put another, maybe another seven or eight tons. It's not perfectly level, but because the, the ground runs off a lot, you know, I'd, I'd have been, bloody hell, I'd have put some serious shoring in, but all I did, I put these, got some telegraph poles, they're concreted in and backed it up and it, yeah it's a it's a really nice like pretty level area at the moment so we've got we've got the two field gates we've got two five foot field gates there if someone comes in a vehicle that's a bit bigger we can just open them up and they can put the arsen through there little pedestrian gate so let's go through that right so this top bit the plan for this we're putting the shepherds up here, so we're going to offer kind of an off-grid accommodation. Only for two people, only one shepherd's up going in. You know, we don't want a massive setup. It wants to be nice and discreet. So we're on with the planning for that at the moment. That's going to go here. We're going to have a composting toilet set up. It's going to be very, very discreet and low impact. Solar panels. It's not going to be somewhere you're going to come and there's no big telly in there. You know, there's there's not even any Wi-Fi. You you come in here to enjoy the experience because the views are just fantastic. And with with badgers, foxes come through here. I'm going to put a feeding station here, so for photographers, it'll be a nice place to come. So that's gonna that's gonna go here. And there you go. That's what you've got to look at in the morning. So it's a it's a fantastic spot, nice and quiet. So that's the that's further down the line. But for now we're kind of we're concentrating on the hide but we've just got all these you know little jobs just keep doing bits here bits there and that but super chuffed till we got that done that was a that was quite a big job so me and dawn we grafted on that a lot of it we've no machinery so we kind of handballed it all which was uh yeah test to say the least 
but it were it were good good honest work so glad it's glad that one's out of the way a little bit of uh, a little bit of landscaping left to do we're going to get some rocks up there and and get it nicely planted up get some uh, some ferns planted around the edges so blend it in so yeah it's coming too the homestead's coming too right back down here bit of dinner and we're going to crack on with that hide we need to get get that up and running so thanks for watching i tell you what don't forget the global bird fair all right down at oakham rutland water 12th 13th and 14th if you've never been it's fantastic it's a brilliant event if you're into wildlife i tell you if you're looking to go on a holiday any kind of bird watching or photography holiday there's so many tour operators there all over the world it's there's people doing doing talks there's seminars there's all the big photography companies are there the big suppliers so i'm going to be there for the three days with tragapan and it's going to be really last year was fantastic it weren't too good because i uh <laughs> i was in my tent my tent blew down so i'm in some proper accommodation this year so happy days but it's going to be great if you're thinking of coming down get yourself down come over to the stand and we'll have a natter all right thanks for watching hit the like button subscribe if you haven't done that'd be great really helps the channel out see you on the next one catch you later